Electric vehicles, just like how we humans did not care about the viruses, we auto enthusiasts really never gave a flying F about it. A bit of wheezing from the motors and well, when you pull the throttle, it really launches off from the standstill. But then again, there are no vibrations, there is no exhaust note and well, it's just silent. You know, as a rider or a driver, these all experiences are something that matter and they make the experience as one whole. So, well, are they really worth it? Because over here right now in our market, most of the electric vehicles, they go easily over a lakh rupee. And what? They have so-called, what, 100-ish kilometers of range? Maybe? Possibly? But then again, we are here to find out, does it really make sense? Anyways, we decided not to be jerks about it, at least this time, as India is now heading towards, well, advancement in EVs. Pure EVs, a lithium-ion ba uh, based scooters manufacturer, well, they've come up with a new product called the Neo e-trans. Hello, I'm Kiran, welcome to the Driver's Hub. And today we are here to find out if this Neo e-trans is really worth your time and money. Well, when you look at it at first, it doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. But on closer inspection, you'll realize that over there on that side, it's not the exhaust, it's just a swing arm guard. And then when you go on the back, you can see the two shock absorbers on each side. And then again, there are telescopic suspension in the front. And then again, there's one more noticeable thing over here is that the front tires is actually wider than the rear tire. So, well, that's that. It's probably done for the efficiency and the battery savings, etc, etc, so on and so forth. But otherwise, when you look at it in general, well, it looks like a scooter that's well known all over the country, you know. It has cues from every moped that's been on sale. The headlights look something similar to the Vigo, the body panels. Well, they have, the entire shape is somewhat similar to the that of an Activa I. And even the DRL, the indicators over here, they look like those from the Activa 4G and the 5G. So, well, they've tried to give it a theme or the look of something that we know and love as the usual scooters, but with an electric twist in it. Otherwise, looks quite decent, it's quite compact. And thanks to that, it's not even too bulky. Well, talking about the main part that drives the scooter, that is its motor. It's rated at 2.5 kilowatt hour and the output is rated at 2.2 kilowatts. Well, in simple words, that roughly translates to around 3 British horsepower, according to Google. So other than that, the major changes that they have done for this specific model that is over here is that they have completely upgraded the suspension both at the front and the end so that they can accommodate well 150 kg of loading capacity and also what they have done is along with this is that they have relocated the battery a little bit ahead and slanted so before it was straight over here but right now it's slightly ahead so what it does it helps with physics and other stuff, center of gravity, etc. But for us, what matters is you'll have more boot space, you have a bigger seat and again, it's comfortable for two people. So that's well, that's what matters for a city electric scooter. And also, they have upgraded it with a LCD instrument cluster. The LCD instrument cluster is a big upgrade over the last e trances one. Now the screen is a negative LCD which makes it slightly easier to read in harsh lighting conditions compared to the last one on the scooter. But as you can see, the brightness needs to be enhanced even more. I'll be frank, the ride quality of the new e-trans is quite decent on normal roads. But yeah, there's a very big but. Things tend to change when the roads change. If you have ridden the previous generation of the e-trans, it's safe to say it soaks up the bumps better than the previous generation. But there is still more room for improvement because over seriously bad potholes and speed breakers, you'll start noticing that the suspension bottoms out quite easily. Even on bad patches where the roads are torn off, the scooter tends to 
just throw you off on the seat so you'll be hopping on the seat all the time while trying to clear the bad patch so on tap you have 3 bhp it will shoot you up to 50 kmph on power 3 mode and also you'll see that as your speed shoots up your battery range falls down what's more to know is that pew ev has thought about people from all walks of life not only people can install a charger port in their society so apart from a plug-in socket which can be used at local charging stations you can completely remove the battery from the scooter bring it to your house and charge on a normal socket very convenient well when you look at it at the end of the day an average moped would cost you around 80 to 90k and filling it well up to the brim will cost you around 500 rupees and well looking at the prices this is touching almost 110 rupee a liter it can at least go around 200 plus kilometers of range when you look at evs they roughly go around 100 kilometers claimed and setting that side apart well the competitors for this well people are considering or well they would consider the ola s1 pro the a3 or even the bajaj chetak but mind you their motors are almost three times more powerful than the one over here so this is on a different segment on its own it's not targeting the enthusiasts it's just targeting the audience who are well looking to convert or just well get electrified in a simple well manner of speaking but otherwise a nice package light built nicely and well it's made and designed completely in india so kudos to that well otherwise that's about it from my end. Let me know what do you think about this scooter in the comments down below. Would you go for it or would you consider something else? Or well, are you a hardcore petrol head and would you just, instead of this, maybe go for a bike or something for over a lakh rupee? Let us know in the comments down below. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.